Hello, hello, bonjour à tous et bienvenue pour la suite de The Walking Dead. Donc nous avons fini la saison 1 pratiquement, il nous reste l'épisode spécial 400 jours. Installez-vous bien, prenez-vous à boire, à manger, mettez-vous dans le noir, ça va commencer. Et à de suite, go Where the hell did you shoot that guy, man? What the hell was that? I didn't mean to do it. It just happened, okay? Where the fuck were you with a warning? See? You're putting that on me now? I didn't see the guy either. I was too worried. Those dude. Attendez, je vais remettre les sous-titres parce que voilà. J'ai un problème à chaque fois, on, ça me désactive les paramètres du jeu que j'ai fait auparavant. Shit! Dude, how'd they catch up to us? Gives a shit! Just... Hurry up, Eddie! Here, man, shoot! Dude, take this thing! Get him, man! Jesus, man, Jesus! God, I'm so fucked up! I didn't mean for this to get this fucking fucked up! Fuck! Holy shit, man, did you get them? Are they back there? Wyatt? Dude, are they there or not? Come on! Wyatt, talk words at me, man! I don't see anything. Are you sure? Those guys wouldn't just give so up. I don't see anything. Here, here, I'll turn off. Ce que je peux dire, c'est que le mode de visée dans ce jeu, il est, il est vraiment spécial. Hein. Je vais vous montrer, c'est parce que vous en pensez. Je ne suis pas un asshole, je suis bien smart. No lights, no... Uh, you know, they can't see us. Christ, I can taste blood in my mouth. I don't think it's mine. I can't see a damn thing out here. 
I guess that makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense, Wyatt. God, I can't believe we're in this shit. Don't barf just yet, okay? Please, this road is really straight. We'll be fine. At least slow down. What? Fuck no. Did you see that one guy's eyes, man? He's fucking gorked. I don't want that guy in my life, Wyatt. What if there's something in the road? Doesn't matter. We gotta get the fuck away from those guys. They are A-grade fucking mental. Let there be light, huh? Dude, shut up. See? It's fine. Road straight as my dick. You think we're in the clear? Not till we get out of this fog. Is that a pun? No. When did you start making puns? I said no, idiot. I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's Tom Cruise out of here. Why is it that you never had a girlfriend again? Oh, right. I forgot there was more than one reason. See if there's still any sticky in the glove box. see anything. Dude, it's in there. Look harder. I don't see it. What I do see is that ammo that you lost last week. Oh my god, really? But is there any weed? You know, one time I was going out with this girl, right? Abigail. You remember her? She told me that she was five. I think loading the gun is probably more important right this second. Thanks. Okay. Weird, but okay. Shit! Ah! Holy shit, dude. Holy shit. Did you get a look? I think that was a guy. Wyatt, come on, man, say something. Was that a dude or not? What the... The fucking fog. This night is so fucked, man. It didn't look human. Alive. Whatever. Really? Seriously? I mean, seriously? Look me in the eyes and say that. You heard me, Eddie. Ah! Let's see if there's anything around the car. You know, anything that'll, like, tell us one way or the other. That way, we can just book. But I'm not leaving if we hit a human being, man. I'm just not. Man, don't roll it down broken. Can't see through the cracks. Look, it's fine, see? Dude, what's that on the broken side mirror? Is that the mirror from the car? Can't tell from here. You think that blood on the windshield is fresh or rotten? It's part of a shirt, I think. Yeah, but plenty of dead guys have shirts on. Keep looking. What's that way out in the road? Does that blood look fresh to you? Yeah, but it's kind of dark. Yeah. Damn. Man, I'm really not seeing anything. Stop messing around. We need to know what's going on, okay? That's not gonna help. Okay, okay. Jeez. Look. Wyatt. It was a guy. Are you sure? Yes. How sure? Pretty fucking sure. Don't take ecstasy with the prostitute, sure. Jesus. So what do we do? What do you mean, what do we do? We go out there. Go out there and what? Find the guy and help him. Who the hell are you tonight? If it's a guy. It's a guy. I saw him. Come on, man. This is stupid. We go out there, we check it out, we get moving. Both of us? I mean, I don't know. Me? I hit the fucking guy. One of us should stay here, though, in case. Okay. Well... Shit, okay. Here, we'll rock, paper, scissors for it. Are you fucking serious? No. Come on. Sitting here is making me nervous. Man, I can't believe 
I'm doing this shit. Dude, two seconds, it's over. All right, two out of three, right? Sure. One, two, three, go. What the fuck, dude? Play the game, come on. One, two, three, go. Fuck! What are the chances of that? Okay. One, two, three, go. Shit. All right, all right. Okay. All right. One, two, three, go. Rock your scissors, dude. Eddie. Yeah, sorry. Got caught up. All right, dude. This is it. Shit. One, two, three, go. Damn it, I almost picked scissors, but I changed it at the last fucking second. Looks like it's me. Back in the car! No fucking way, man! What if it was you? Eddie! You see something? Hurry up, man! Dude, leave me the fuck alone, alright? This is my speed. Eddie! What's happening? Do you see anything out there? I can't see a goddamn thing. Idiot. Hey, Wyatt. I ate paint when I was a kid. Die. Shit, where the hell did they go? It's the smallest hoopty in the world. There you are, you piece of shit. Why didn't he just leave them the ignition? Get you out, shuttle! Ain't never yanked on a dude this much before! Okay, got one. A snake for a tongue. You're so bad at this. Would you rather have a snake for a tongue? Awful. Or lobster claws for hands? Can I control this snake, or does it have free reign? Free reign? Well... I'm thinking... Think harder. And how exactly do you think harder? Good point. I'll think about that. Snake tongue. Gross. What? How is that more gross than lobster hands? Well, for one, it's in your mouth. Hey, you asked the question, Haas. Okay. How about... Oh, never mind. I probably ought to stop bugging you with stupid hypotheticals. Oh, come on. You'd be a lot less fun. You've been a lot more fun lately. Feeling better? 
I guess I am. Well, you sure do look better. So, uh, you gotta admit anything is an improvement. That came out wrong. What I mean is... I mean, uh, you were... You were, uh... You know. You know, you're not perfect either, Mr. Lobster Hands. Maybe I should spend a minute listing off your flaws. See how you like it. Me? I ain't perfect. That's right. And you're older than dirt. Look, as long as you stay off that stuff, you can have all the flaws you want. I mean it, though. After we found you, you were still so hooked on that stuff. Well, I never thought you'd make it. You ain't out of the woods yet, I know, but... Well, you've come a long way, Bonnie. And I'm proud of you. You're a good friend, Leland. I know. Okay, you're not that great. Look, you know I ain't going nowhere, right? As long as we're together, I'll be there for you. You ain't gotta worry. You know that, right? I know. God, Leland. Thank you. Bonnie, I... Leland? Bonnie? Dee. Hey, honey. I found us something. What are you two up to? Where have you been, Dee? We were just talking while we waited for you, huh? And what were you talking about? Oh, um, uh, well, um, lobsters. Lobsters. Well, fishing. Figured it'd be worth a shot. For the food, you know. Leland, you hate fishing. That ain't totally true. And how many days you gone fishing? What? I go fishing all the time. Thought you, didn't I? I am a catch. Don't I know it. I got you a present. Oh, you shouldn't have. What'd you find? I'll tell you later. I don't mean to interrupt your chat with your, uh, girlfriend, but, uh, we gotta get moving. Girlfriend? So, where'd you get the bag, D? D? D, did you hear me? What's in the bag, D? I told you, it's a surprise. Hey, D, when we get back to camp, would you let me borrow some of that nail polish? Sure, hon. You like this color? It's my favorite. And after today, I could use a new coat, you know? Same here. I feel like a drowned rat with these claws. Not to interrupt the girl talk here, but uh, D, that, that bag. Look, I found it down the road a piece, all right? Where down the road? Some place off that away. Damn it, D, you gotta give us more than that. Quit being so cagey about it. Me? Cagey? You two are the ones being cagey. Calm down, Dee. Just tell us where you found the bag. You guys sure gang up on me a lot lately. Honey, that ain't true. Tell me one time you sided with me in the last week. The last month. All right. I can't remember one especially, but I know I have. False. This is how all our fights go. Every time. Now we're standing here in the woods, soaking through, and for what? Don't you want to get to the camp before dark? I ain't the one who stopped. This ain't helping anything, But you anything, are the one who made me stop. Irregardless, we could just as easy carry on like this while we're walking. Oh, I've about had it with that attitude. Attitude? And now we're standing in this goddamn You're gonna rain. You're going to draw every dead thing from miles around middle of nowhere did place. That on purpose. You listen to me now. I have had it up I to here with listening not to you. To blaspheme. I can't believe you are. Leland, that's enough. It's obvious you can't win this one, so why even bother trying? Bonnie, I appreciate you trying to help, but let me handle this, all right? Thank you, Bonnie. Finally, someone makes some damn sense around here. Bonnie, darling, I'm I'm sorry we're darling. D, come on. Save it. I know what side your bread is buttered on. Yours too. D, now's not the time. Whatever issues we got, we'll hash them out later. Bitch. Honey. Go to hell, Bonnie. This is the thanks I get after what we did for you. I'm sorry. I just want to get somewhere where I can change my clothes, and then you and your girlfriend can... Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, God, run. Come on. We gotta move. What are you talking about? Oh, shit. I'm falling back here!
Where are you? You see anything? Anything? No, I can't see a damn thing out here. Dee? Oh, God, Dee! I'm so sorry. Oh, God! Why? You. Why? It was dark. It's so dark. I, I couldn't see you. I, I didn't know it was you. How was I supposed to know it was you? Mm. There, there was no... Mm. I thought I... I saw you. You, you did this. Oh, God, you killed me. You, you killed me. Anybody see anything? I should it's never dark out here. trusted you. Just, just a junkie. Leland, she, she did this to me. I, God, I'm so sorry. So, I can't. Oh, God. God. I knew you'd fuck up again. Take him. I... I... No, God, I'm sorry. I need him. I need you both. You... Bitch. Mary, you wanted him. Didn't... Thank you. Have the stones. Dee, I would never... I swear this has nothing to do with him. It was an accident. You fucking junkie. Find her? Bonnie, I, I thought they got you back there. Jesus, are you shot? Me? Oh, God, what happened? Oh, Jesus, oh, Lord, Bonnie, what happened? Oh, my God, D. Darling, what happened to you? Your face? Her face, Bonnie. Doesn't matter now, Leland. She's dead. We've got to move on. We can't stay here. I know, but just give me a minute. Tell me what happened. She came out of nowhere. I thought she was one of them. I, I didn't see her until she was right there. You did this? You did this to my D? I don't... I don't believe this. I don't understand. How did it happen? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Leaven. Bonnie. Back this way! Oh, no! You're going! Which way? There! I'm sorry to do this to you, darling. I'll leave you here. Fall out if you this see way. Him. She's 
you're gonna die for this thing, I for damn sure ain't leaving it behind. I told you. I already told you it wasn't me, man. Man, come on. I told you like like 20 times. Uh, I don't even I don't even know your brother. Two hours? Relax. Get used it's to it. It's not your fault. What the hell, man? What? You know. Put it out. Jesus, you guys. You gonna make me? Yeah. Hey, Vince. Justin's gonna make me. It's too hot for this shit. Vince, I'm making him hot now. Yeah, Danny, you're making me hot. Oh, shit! Come on, Vince. Hey, man. How about you open a fucking window? It's a prison bus, asshole. The window. Hey, Justin. See that right, guy man. in the beat up truck? Ain't right. I bet he Shut lives in that there. truck now. You probably got his whole house. Life savings. Shit. I bet you stole his dog. You steal his dog, man? I wasn't stealing from guys like that. Anyway, better than stealing his virginity. Hey, how many times I gotta tell you? Here we go. Seriously, I was falsely accused. How old was she, 15? I mean, it ain't like that. We're all in the same boat here. What's the point of arguing? The point is, I'm not like that. My lawyer's gonna be hearing Tell about you what, this. Guys, he gonna I have your motherfucking say it. jobs when he I'm hears about really this. I'm really missing my girlfriend right now. You I'm guessing she's pretty pissed nerve, at you. Man. It's I worse than that, man. She won't talk to mouth. me. Haven't heard her voice in months. Really messing with me, like for real. Just let it go, man. I want to, but, you know, I love her, man. You should call her up when we get there. You gotta face that shit. No, you're right, man. First call I get. Danny, I know you don't realize this because you're you, but you probably ruined that poor girl's life, you piece of shit. Big talk from White Collar back there. How many lives you wrecked, kid? Who cares? Hotter than hell up in here. I'm getting dehydrated. Hey, how about some water back here? Shut I up thought you took the stand and cried your eyes out. I'm telling you again. Didn't you lose your yeah, shit and tell them you didn't know what you were up. doing? Or I'll set you I up. lied. Turns out I'm good at that. You lied on the stand? See, that's the kind of shit I could never do. Religious? No, nah, man. Watch a lot of cop shows? Nope. What then? It just ain't right. Oh, give me a break. It's a tough call. Why do more time than you need to? Gotta stay clean, man. Says the criminal. You wanna know the funny thing? I don't regret any of it. 
I carried my victims for years. They knew what they were getting into. And now here I am, and there they are. And Wall Street assholes pulling the same scores are smiling on TV. Fuck that. How did it all work, anyway? It was like, uh... A pyramid scheme. Hey, if nobody got hurt, no harm done. They'll get their money back. Most of it. How much did you make off with, anyway? Enough. So, like, a couple hundred K? A little over a hundred. Million. God damn, boy! Ho oh, ho! When we get out of here, you, me, and Vince, we gotta go into business, know what I'm saying? You know, I don't actually know a thing about you, Vince. Maybe he's a priest. Yeah, Father Vincent. I bet he touched a kid. I helped my little brother. They send you to prison for that now? He was in trouble. I had to help him out. I knew it was something stupid. You regret it, man? If you're saying what I think you are, I got respect for you, man. Every day. But what are you gonna do? Yeah, I feel you. How'd they get you? Threw the gun in the trash. And? Some stupid dog knocked the can over the next day. Kid found it and turned it in. You, know you what gotta be is, kidding me. This is cool man, you're bad luck, Vince. Punishment, man. Bad Violate luck, Vince! My motherfucking <laughs> That's not bad. You, man. What do you think, Shut Justin? Fuck up. What the fuck are you gonna do about fuck it? Fuck you. Fuck me? <laughs> fuck you, motherfucker. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Christ. What the hell is going on Red back tree, there? knock it off. Hey, get in there, man. Got, Sit down, goddammit. Hey, let him go, man. Damn it, Crab Tree. Don't make me come back there He's now. gonna kill him, Vince. Let the guard handle it, guys. Hey, fuck that. We gotta get in there. You do not want to get in the middle of that shit, Danny. Motherfucker. Vince, we gotta do something. You know this ain't right. I'm not doing any more time to save some stupid asshole. Help him, Danny. What's that? Speak up, boy. I can't Fucking chain's too short. Crab Tree, I'm warning you one last time, goddammit. You gotta get in you there. Get yourself in there and wake that shit up, Come on, man. man. Come on, boy. Get back there. Okay, asshole. Let him go. Get in between them, goddammit. He's gonna kill that boy. Crabtree? Last what warning. Are you for? Knock him out. Go, God damn it! What the fuck was that? Fuck. Jesus. What happened? What did you do, boy? God damn it, boy. Answer me back there. That guy's there. still alive. Get those cuffs off him, man. What the hell was that? He he made a move on me. I, I, I don't know. He made a move, or you don't know. Which one? This is crazy. Nobody had to die. This is what happens when you give guns to assholes. He's uh. Fuck! Fuck! You gotta call someone, man. What? I'm calling this in. Oh, don't call it in yet. He might still be alive. Call a damn ambulance, man. I just need a minute. I need a minute to think. You ain't got a minute. Shut up, you hear me? Just shut your mouth! Okay, okay, calm down. Take it easy. I'll calm down when you quit running your fucking mouth. Everybody needs to calm the fuck down. Situation's bad enough as it is. He's right. Let's all just take it down a notch, okay? You really want to pull that trigger again, son? Thanks, man. What the fuck? Did you see that? I saw it. Yeah. Hey, you gotta get us the hell out of here. You're not going anywhere. Fuck that. Get this bus moving. Hey, driver, let's go, you're man. We're staying right here. We're safe inside the bus. Nothing's gonna... Holy shit! Jesus. Oh my god. Hey. Hey! You need to call someone, you hear me? We need to... Did he just bail on us? Oh, Jesus. What the hell, man? Back up, back up. Fuck! 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 He can't reach us. Are you sure about that? That ankle's gonna get... Shit. What are we doing, guys? 
Come on! We gotta do something! Find a weapon. What kind of weapon? Where's the guard's gun? Yeah, yeah, the gun! Good thinking, Justin! Where the fuck is it? I think it fell on it. It's underneath. Ah, oh, fuck me! Get the gun, man! Get up, Vince! Hurry up! Shoot this asshole, Vince! Do it! It, man. Sorry. Sorry. Man, I can't believe this shit. Can you believe this shit, man? No. We gotta find some way to get out of here. This isn't gonna work. We can maybe get out through the front of the bus, if that cage door is unlocked. If we can get out of these chains. We should just wait for help. Whoa, whoa, watch it! Ain't gonna work! Where are the damn keys, man? They weren't on him. Well, shit, if the keys aren't on him, then where the hell are they? He must have left them up front. Maybe we finally caught a break. Danny, Hey, don't. buddy! What the fuck? God damn it, Danny. You always put your fucking foot Fuck in. you, man. You gotta get out of here before any more of them show up. That's not gonna hold. Vince! Fire the fucking gun! I think you just pissed them off. Yeah. Yeah, save the shells. Try the chains! Need those keys. How the hell are we gonna get out There's of here? There's gotta be a way. Can't we just shoot off the chains? No way. Wouldn't cut through. What about the cuff? If we shoot one of those off, the chain will slip right out. Are you fucking insane? What do you think is gonna happen if you fire a shotgun that close to someone's Well, foot? what do you think's gonna happen if we don't get the fuck out of here? Bitch, give me the gun! We gotta do this! Back off! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Sorry, buddy. No, 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 you can't! Vince, I have a family. Please. Oh! 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 oh Shit! Oh, Still oh, attached. Oh, Get! Do it! Oh! Like 60 miles left, I think. Ain't shit. Shouldn't have maybe taken so many cans. Ugh, 63 miles to go. Ah, I missed the days of taking shortcuts. Hey, you getting up? 
Dude can give me a ride. Hey. Bang! I just killed you. You're either stupid as fuck or you think you're tough shit. Or both, I guess. I don't want no trouble. Please. Standing out here like this ain't gonna get you nothing but trouble. Just leave me alone, please. I'm not hurting no one. How do I know that? Maybe you're just walking this highway looking for some tail. You're gonna end up hurting somebody. Maybe killing you right now does our troubled country some good. But honestly, I ain't no do-gooder. I'm gonna let you live. Okay. So you have some balls on you just standing there like that. You'll get killed eventually. Ain't none of my business. I won't. What's your name? Rough. So you didn't steal that bag. I don't care who you steal from, if you did. Maybe you're in a gang that likes to rob people. I don't know. Are you in a crew? You got some boys wearing hoodies I gotta worry about? Mine. I didn't steal it. All right, good. I don't like thieves. Just get in the car. You're gonna get eaten out here otherwise, and I'm bored. Come on. Scoot. Ain't gonna wait forever. You take me to Statesboro? I'm trying to get to my grand's house. Fuck, she like the party? Just get in, we'll get there. Or somewhere, eventually. Name's Nate, by the way. Thanks for asking. You thirsty? Uh... Here you go. <laughs> Good shit, ain't it? Bell of a kick, but it takes the edge off. You'll get used to it. Actually, I think that's it for me. I'm good. All right, bye. You want to tell me about where you come from, at least? You must have been with a crew. Any tail back where you come from? Maybe drop you off, do a double back. Sure, yeah. I mean, I'll tell you about who I was with. Don't leave out any juicy deets, all right? Ha, <laughs> uh, okay. There were seven of us. I didn't have any family there or nothing. They were all at my grand's down in Statesboro. There was a dad who had a daughter about my age. One guy said he used to be a cop, but nobody really believed him. Then a teacher and his wife. The leader was this guy, Steve. Go back to the daughter. Steve was a bad dude, but everybody was with him, you know? He said seven was the magic number, so we didn't add nobody to the group. We found survivors. It was the same every time. He. Let it out, Paco. Just... We gonna kill these folks and take this stuff or what? Then bang! They'd be dead! Anyway, I, I couldn't handle that. The weeks of it, I packed my shit up and figured I could make for Grands alone and try to find my family. I slipped out of there. I couldn't live like that. So nobody got down with the daughter then? No, they didn't. What would you give her? Strong six? Just tell me something about it. How was the rat? Give me a little something. Just a taste. Russ, I'm doing you a service here. I gotta get my beak wet. I'll put it right in here. Sure, whatever. Sure, whatever? Come on. All right, maybe someone who wasn't so near and dear to your heart then. What the fuck? Come on. 
scale of one to ten. What do you think? Uh, slamming before she was dropped, right? I don't think. Here, get a look. Oh, lui c'est un psychopathe. Hein. Putain. Let's look for some supplies in here. See if we can fill up while we're at it. Don't be mad. Fine, be mad. Just stop being a pussy. I. Oh shit! Go! Get out! Boss! Get the fuck down, man! You don't want to be there! Get to the truck! I'll cover you! Okay, get ready! Don't stop running! And keep your head down! Good hustle. What happened to- I'll cover you! Look how good you did. Alright. What are we gonna do? First, we're gonna figure out exactly where this asshole is. Just get a quick glance. See? Easy. Now we know where he is and we can fucking get him. All right. Yes. That's the spirit. Let's push this truck for cover. Okay. It's in neutral. Just keep your head down. Shit! Just keep pushing! the side of the building. We gotta go from cover to cover. Seriously this time. I'm not fucking around. Yeah, no problem. Easy as pie. Just don't get shot. If we get to that car, we'll be out of the line of fire. Here. You can cover me first. I'm not fucking around. You cover me, then I'll cover you. Or if you want to go first, that's fine too. I'll cover you. Go first. Just shoot at the window and keep that fucker's head down till I get where I'm going. Then throw me the gun and I'll do the same. Ready? Yeah. You ready, Russ? Cover my ass now. Remember, don't stop shooting. Fire! All right, throw me the gun and I'll cover you. Done yet. Let's see if we can get in around back. Sneak up on this ass. Follow me.
Man, what are we doing? Well, we gotta get in there. Fucker shot at us. Russell, relax, man. When this is over, we're gonna take what we can, head on down to your grams, and have a big old home-cooked meal, all right? Come on. Okay, it's clear. Keep your head down and follow me. You got it? All right. We're gonna be fucking quiet. We're gonna sneak up on this son of a bitch and take him out. You hear me? Not a fucking beep. Let's go. See him. Check through the window. See if there's anyone else. I think I saw a guy. Don't fucking move! Walt! Ow! Oh. Get the fuck out of here, you monsters! Whoa, Gramps! I told you not to come back here! Think you could just leave your mask at home? And now you're with this fucking spook! First off, watch the fucking racism. This is my boy. Secondly, I don't fucking know you. We were just passing by like anyone else. Bullshit! You came back to finish us off and take all our food! You've lost your goddamn marbles. She's dying, and now she can see your face. We've never been here, sir. And who shot my wife? Wasn't us. You tried to kill us for no goddamn reason. If anything, we should take you out for that. Please, just get the fuck out of here. Please, leave us alone. What do you say, Russ? Should we just kill these folks and take all their stuff? Are you serious? Maybe. Why not? That's fucked up! There are real fucking monsters out there! No shit. And you're just gonna joke about the shit I seen! Fuck you, Nate! I saved your ass! You didn't do shit! Easy, Russ. I'm not hurting no one. And don't you hurt these people either. Come on! Can we still be friends? No. Wait. Michelle, 
Your sister's getting pretty good, huh? Becca had a good teacher, Steph. Thank you for doing that. She needs something to focus on besides, you know, everything else. Yeah. Growing up in a world like this? What do you think that does to a kid? I'm trying to protect her from it as much as possible. Things are stable here, for now. I wanted to grow up with this, not what's outside these walls. Beck is a good kid. These are shit times, and she's gonna go through that. But if we can keep her from experiencing some of the shit I've seen... Thanks, Stephanie. Thanks. Pekka, that was great. Thanks, sis. You think we can do something like this every week? That sounds like a great idea. Maybe we can all get in on it, like some kind of weekly talent show. That was amazing, Becca. We could all use a little more music in our lives. Did I ever tell you that I used to play in a band? Yes, Roman, you've told us. She doesn't want to hear about it again. All right, all right. In that case, let's get back to work. Oh, and thanks to Boyd's hard work on the vegetable garden, we're having fresh soup tonight. Okay, let's get to it. You want to help me and Shell do the supply inspection? Cool. You check the flashlights this time. I'll look over the guns. Cool. Actually, I wanted to make sure our blades were in good condition first. No rush on the flashlights. Shell, when you get a sec, meet me out back. Help me feed the watchdogs. Sure thing. How are we doing on ammo? Better than we thought. We haven't had to use these for a while. What did Roman want? I don't know yet. Are you gonna find out? Yeah, in a sec. Huh. Still one short. We never found the other flashlight? Nope. Still in the cornfield somewhere, I guess. You guys need help? Nah, we got this. Right, Becca? You go ahead and help Roman out back. The diner looked pretty nice back then. That's because they used to pay people to clean it. Also, not as many dead visitors back then. Eesh, these knives are looking pretty ragged. Don't worry, they're on our list. Did you ever find out what happened there? No. Roman said it was like this when he and Stephanie found the place. Could be anything these days, though. Still, better not to think about it. Looks weird in here without the paintings. Well, Boyd wanted something to paint his own pictures on. I guess it'll be a personal gallery in here when he's done. Hey, Becca, think we should start charging for the inspections we make? Oh, yeah. Then we can spend all our money at nowhere. We should do an inspection on these. Make sure they all work. Glad we thought to bottle our water before it ran out. Smells good. Still can't believe Clive got this thing working. 
so much nicer than having to eat raw food all the time. This hasn't worked in a long time. wouldn't give her a cup of coffee in the morning. Ooh, starting to thin out in here. Thank God we have a garden now. I don't miss going on raids for this stuff. He's hungry. Guess he knows it's feeding time. It's disgusting. Can't disagree with you there. You know, uh, your sister said she wouldn't mind doing this. Roman, we've talked about this. Becca doesn't need to deal with this kind of thing. Listen, I know you think that giving her an easy life is what's best, but it's really not. I know, I just want her to have a little more time to be a kid. As long as she knows how to protect herself, it's fine. I don't want her to stop caring about people. Okay. What's that one eating? I don't know. I'll check it out. I gotta get back out front. Looking forward to that soup. Again. Whoa! What's your problem? I do this all the time. You don't get all pissed off. <sighs> you just... You can't go jumping out at people. Not anymore. It's not safe. But... What if I had a weapon? I could have thought you were a walker. What are you talking about? I... <sighs> Look, I... I just saw our walkers out back eating a, a puppy. A puppy? Yeah. I guess it just got to me. You know, it was... it was so little. You don't think about babies anymore, but... after a while, you just kind of accept this is it. Yeah. I guess you kind of forget. <laughs> right? But then, you know, there it is. You see it, and you want to protect it, and... and now it's gone. That sucks. Maybe if Clive dies next, we can put him out there instead. He'd make a better watchdog anyway. Becca. Shell! Becca! Something's going on outside! What is it? I don't know. Something bad. We gotta find Roman. Come here, everyone. Shit. Come on, we gotta find Roman. This Martham. 
If so, care we were. Jeez. Largum. La My God. La Largum. What did you do? All I did was put on the blindfold and bind his wrists. Somebody else beat him up. He already had the cuts and bruises. Watchdogs caught him trying to steal supplies. Is he bitten? No. They didn't get that close. Did he hurt anyone? No, thank God. Who is he? I don't know. And I don't think he speaks English. I can't believe he just snuck it's in. the second break-in we've had in the last couple of weeks. Last time we couldn't catch him. And they got away with more medicine than we could afford to lose. Well, we all know what it's like trying to survive out there. He just came in here for food. Let's just give him some. Send him on but his what way. what if there are more of them? He could have been scouts. That's right. He could be part of a larger group. If there were more, I think we would have seen them by now. I mean, we can't just let him go. It's too dangerous. Who knows if he has friends waiting to attack? Don't you think we would have seen someone by now? At least trying to negotiate to get him back. You don't know that. It does make sense, though. Well, he's not staying here. You let in a stranger, and everything starts breaking down. The last time we did that, we lost Bree. And then Vernon with that goddamn boat. Vernon and the boat are the reason the group fell apart. Not trusting strangers. Vernon was out for the boat the whole time. And the second they left that boat unattended, we just stole it. That's when our group fell apart. He can't stay here. I agree. Keeping him here is not an option. In his condition, he'd be a drain on our resources. Look, we all know what we're talking about here, so let's stop dancing around it. We either let this guy go, and take our chances, or we kill him. Jesus Christ! Are you serious? Roman's right. It's gotta be one or the other. We are letting him go. It's the only right thing to do. I'm telling you, we can't do that. But killing him? Is that really the answer? Stephanie, Boyd, you two don't think we should kill him. We know where Joyce and Clive stand on the subject. You're the swing vote here, Shell. What's it gonna be? We have to set him free. We can't. He's not even armed. We can't just kill him. This isn't in self-defense. Isn't it, though? If it means he can't come back to hurt us? That isn't the same thing. But last time... Joyce, that was a long time ago. If we kill this man, then we're giving up a part of ourselves that we can never get back. I'm not ready to let that go. Cut him free. I hope you guys know what you're doing. Oh, Give him some food, when, three or four cans, just as a gesture of good faith. Get him out of here. I don't know if you can understand a word I'm saying, but you better understand this. You came this close to death today, and if you ever, ever come near this place again, or tell anybody where we are, you'll wish you had died today. Do you have any fours? Nope. Do you have any sevens? Yep. I miss playing guitar for everyone. I mean, it was stupid, but fun. Why don't we do that anymore? Since the attack, there's a lot we don't do anymore. I shouldn't have let that guy go. Boyd would still be alive and everything would be the same. Boyd agreed it was the right thing to do. Anyway, Roman's obsessed with keeping this place secured now. You know that's impossible, right? Well, after last time, Roman isn't taking any chances. And I should fix the loose board behind the storage lots. Eka, are you sneaking out again?
Oh, God, do you know how dangerous that is? It's not dangerous. There's nothing out there but slow-ass walkers. What are you talking about? We've had two break-ins already. Anyone could be out there. What if someone sees you and, and follows you back here? It won't. Damn it, Becca. Shell, I need to talk to you. Open. What's going on? Hey, Becca. Hey. When you uh, get a sec, I need you to come out and talk to me. It's important. Okay. I'll be outside. You'll see me. Is this about Becca? Just come see me. What was that all about? Probably nothing. Don't worry about it. He said it was important. Yeah, well, these days everything's important to Roman. Stay here. It'll be just a minute. I'll fill you in when I get back. No one's watering these. Joyce, do you know what's going on? I don't know if I should say anything. Please, what is it? They caught Stephanie stealing and then trying to escape. Oh my God. What are they gonna do? I don't know. What can we do? I'll go talk to Roman. We'll figure it out. Roman? Good, you're here. I heard about Stephanie. I'm sorry. What are you gonna do? You know what we do. What happened? Caught her trying to escape. Well, so what, Roman? Ever since the incident, this hasn't been an easy place to live in. If she doesn't want to stay, let her take her chances out there. Well, A, she had most of our seeds, medicine, and ammo with her. And B, you know we can't let anyone leave who knows where we are. She screwed us, Shell. All of us. And now we're in that position again where we can't keep her here and we can't let her go. You do know why I'm telling you this, right? Yeah. You want me to take care of it. You and Boyd were the ones who fought to let that guy go. Convinced us all to take that chance. But we did. And it was wrong. And now Boyd is dead. We're beyond the luxury of taking chances now. And I need to know that you're with us a hundred percent. But she's one of us. Th this is different. No, she's not. Not anymore. She tried to sneak out and leave us without any medicine or extra ammo. She knew that could mean the death of any one of us. You got your gun? It's in the camper. I'll give you a few minutes to get your head together. God, what do I tell Becca? That's up to you. Whatever you say, I'll back you up. Shell? What's wrong? Am I in trouble? It's Stephanie. She stole a bunch of supplies and tried to escape. Oh my god. What the hell did she do that for? Roman says we have to... Kill her? Yeah. Why would she do this to us? She's just scared. She made a mistake. That'll be our last mistake. Becca, 
Stephanie is your friend. Was my friend. Roman wants me to do it. I'm sorry. Let's just get it over with. Your gun's over there, in the drawer. No, we don't have to do this. We can just go. What? We've survived on our own before. If we just go, we can be out of here before anyone can do anything about it. Are you crazy? Where would we go? There's nothing out there. As long as we're here, we're safe. The group will protect us. For how long? I don't know. Longer than we'd survive out there. Besides, you know the rules. If we try to leave, Roman will hunt us down. We don't have a choice. This is who we are now. I don't want this to be who we are. Just let me do it then. No, I'll do it. You shouldn't ever have to do something like this. I just need a second. This really sucks. That yeah, does. Shell, it's time. What are you doing? Shell? Shell, what the hell? Sit down, get safe. Shell, hey! Shell, be safe on the planet. Still alone! What the fuck? Oh. God damn it! You were right. There are survivors out here. Still alive? Oh, they're gonna be happy to get rescued. So how many are we talking about? Round five, I think. They left a note, so at least we know they want to be found. And I can see smoke in the distance. Probably a camp. I'm gonna try to make contact tonight. so good. I'm gonna try to talk to him. Wish me luck. Yeah, good luck. Be careful. Don't try to force him into anything. Just get as many of them as you can. You got it. Hey! Don't shoot! Vince! Don't fucking move! Who the fuck are you? My name is Tavia. How did you find us? I found your note. I'm a scout for a growing settlement up north. We go out and look for survivors to rescue them. We have food, clean water, and shelter for everyone. We're offering you a chance to help us out and start over. God, this sounds too good to be true, but I think it is. Bonnie, get real. Just because you have to tell the truth all the time doesn't mean everyone else does. If I didn't trust people, I'd be dead. I know that for sure. People can care about you if you let them. Like Leland cared when he let you run off alone? That's enough, Becca. Guys, look. If I learned one thing from Danny, it's that we have to stick together and protect ourselves. What? That guy was an asshole. You should be happy he got killed before Shell and Becca joined us. Why? Don't worry about it. Wait, you find survivors? Do you find a lot? Not as many anymore, but... Well, we gotta go. Eddie might be there. Why? Look, we need people, plain and simple. You folks can decide if you want to come as a group or split up or whatever. 
but I don't want to be out here in the open after dark. So in a few minutes, I'm going to be getting back in my car and on my way. Hopefully, at least some of you will follow me. Well, I'm going. Maybe we should go too, sis. If Roman is still looking for us, he wouldn't be able to do anything to us there. There's no way that guy is still looking for you. We've been to that truck stop. There's no one left. Roman's not a problem. It's following her that'll get you killed. Look, I know it's a risk, but what else is there? If you guys are going, then so are we. I don't like this, guys. We should just walk away. I don't trust her. Of course you don't, Russell. You don't trust anyone. I'm not lying to you. How do we know that? You don't. You don't have to come, but we'd be happy to have you. I don't understand what the problem is. Are you really considering staying out here? Foraging for food like fucking raccoons? I mean, then why did we even leave the photos there? Well, it could be a trap. What if they want to kill us? Thank you. Everyone out there is batshit crazy. We've all seen it. Well, we turned out all right, didn't we? Relatively speaking. You clearly outnumber me. If you wanted to overpower me, you could. Hell, I'll even go along as your hostage until you feel safe. No one is gonna hurt you. That's not a bad idea, actually. And I'll do it. Because I know when you guys see this place, you'll change your minds. Look, I know you guys are wary, and you have every right to be. You don't know me from a hole in the ground. And yeah, there are some crazy fuckers out there. All I'm here to do is make an offer. You can come with me, or you can stay here. The choice is yours. So, who wants to come with me? Yeah, I have to. I'm... I'm just not sure. We've been out here for so long and seen so much bullshit. I mean, is it really worth getting our hopes up? Of course it is, Russell. Hope is all we've got left. It's a safe place for everyone. Criminal activity isn't tolerated within our walls, period. You don't have to worry about bandits or walkers or anyone else. We look out for each other. We understand. I think we've all made up our minds. Well, I guess we have our group. What do you want to do with these? This is a good thing. I know it is. How do we know this will work out? I give you my word. Bon, ben, il semblerait qu'on ait fini euh, 400 jours. Donc, on va regarder un peu les choix. Partie avec Tavia. Ok. Rester au camp. Ah. Bon, ben, c'était une sacrée histoire. Un peu moins longue que les, que les autres épisodes. Mais bon, c'était... C'est un épisode de surprise, on va dire. <rire> voilà. Bon, ben, en tout cas, je vous remercie euh, pour le visionnage. J'espère que ça vous a plu. Voilà, la suite sera ben, la saison 2. Voilà, donc, euh, merci encore à vous tous. Pensez à vous abonner. Pensez au pouce bleu et à activer les notifications. Et à la prochaine pour les futures aventures. Allez, bye bye